What's up everyone? It's your girl Nita Flying High and you tuned in to another one. Manchester City 3, Crystal Palace 0 today on um, match day 6. Um, City, you know, getting another 3 points. Now Crystal Palace is a newly uh, promoted team so I wanted just to give them their, you know, congratulations uh, for even getting uh, promoted because it's hard to do. Uh, you have to have the right team to beat, you know, 10 other plus teams to get here, uh, get the opportunity back. But uh, like usual, I mean, crazy possession, crazy amount of passing for City, and the accuracy on point. And in this match, we I feel like, well, we can start with the lineup. Well, Keatings was in the goal, and we had uh, Layla and Kirsten on the wings as the defensive and Kennedy actually was in the lineup I guess Alexandri had the day off and Alex Greenwood who didn't really feature too much with England and who should be starting for England but anyways uh, on the field as well in the back line and then in the midfield we had uh, Jill Hasegawa and uh, Jess Park and up top of course Shaw Hemp and we have Fugino in the lineup today. And I didn't know Katie, uh, Katie Stangle played for Crystal Palace as well. So shout out to her. She used to play for the Dash. Uh, I think, I forgot when she played, but it was back then. Back then. then. And uh, like with this team, City, of course, they, they play possession-oriented football. And it feels like everyone knows the mission. Everyone knows how they're how, how they're um city everyone knows like it's like something clicked they play very comfortable in possession and but at a temple where crystal palace just couldn't keep up they were i mean they were trying they were they were following them but just in general didn't have the players city have in possession wise in general and city don't give up the ball that much just you're not gonna play it's they like i said they play very similar to barca but I guess uh, Barca's, they weren't, Barca's more hungry. They go for more goals than City did. Even though Shaw had, even though they had some good goals, Hemp was more laid back today. And, you know, for, you know, we, I think we've seen her score. We've seen her score. But still getting uh, used to playing with City more. She had a lot more. Actually, Fugino had a lot more good play because of the, because of, uh, all the possession City had today. Uh, Fujino was one of the players that was really nice just seeing her dribble on the ball, holding the ball for City, similar to Jess Park as well. But uh, a lot more comfortable, just keeping it a little longer. Uh, and uh, yeah, Crystal Palace, they had some scares. I mean, especially when Taylor made some changes at the end, like took, taking Alex off. But the first goal came, uh, you know, five minutes to, I guess, uh, halftime. Jess Park, it was, I was trying to remember, she, she scored a similar goal to the goal she scored today. And I wish I remember what goal she, what team she played, um, what team that was. Because it was an acrobatic goal. I, I don't know if it was against Arsenal, was it against Arsenal where she had that weird shot? But this was a similar one that we got from her. Uh, Kind of, this was all placement, right? All placement. This one couldn't be all power. It had to be placed properly and uh, to get to beat the goalkeeper in the right area. And uh, she, she got it done, Jess Park. And she wasn't done as well. And she was quite very good. No Mary Fowler today. So she was a key part in helping City uh, move the ball in the midfield. Uh, to get the job done. Jill looked very great today as well. She ended up getting that second goal. Um, this was actually, and let's say, Hemp had some, Hemp, Hemp could have scored two goals, and Bunny, in the first opening minutes, uh, practically had a shot on goal because of the, the bad pass. So Bunny could have scored like in the opening minutes, and Hemp had a run in the middle where the ball went just right, right, and she could have got a goal too. Uh, but anyways, Jill's goal came through, I think it was Layla had the ball. She ended up either looking for a shawl, took a strike, but it went off a Crystal Palace defender, unfortunately. 
And when the ball popped up in the area, Layla, I mean, no, Jill happened to be the one in the closest area. And she, she had a lot of space just to, you know, put it away. And she did. So she was right, you know, she's still on fire from international break. And, you know, Shaw as well. This, this goal from Shaw, she had similar headers. I mean, she had a header in the first half, maybe, that she missed that was like, kind of like a clinical, or like a, a classic version header of her. I think that she missed it to the left in the first half. But this goal, she was wide open. Jess Park out wide, got the finish. And she grabbed the ball quickly, so I wonder why. I, very, I wonder why. But yeah, these are some very one-sided stats here uh, for City. I do like the passing accuracy. But I just feel like they played... Um, I, I, just in general, I feel like everyone knows the game plan. Everyone knows the mission. Um, how they're gonna play and what t and what's moving forward, and I think um, like going forward, you know, the teams that they need to beat, of course, are Chelsea, Arsenal, convincingly. Apparently, Arsenal and United drew today, which I think that's a great result for United. Um, and uh, so, match day six, we have a lot of matches. Uh, we watched a lot of Inter yesterday. Um, Orlando beat. Uh, Seattle Rain, that was a good match. Um, who else? North Carolina got beaten by Washington Spirit. And Houston got beat by Bay FC. So, yeah, all those matches were good. Uh, we saw a lot of good things, I think. I don't, I, I saw, I saw so much. I saw so much. Avery Patterson, though, shout out to Dash. Avery Patterson got a goal for Houston. Uh, but Rachel uh, for Bay FC was on fire, and uh, but I think with North Carolina, North Carolina didn't play. You know, they did play their like North Carolina did bring their players on at the second half, but they didn't have Caroline suited up. She was in street clothes when we saw her, so that was the only downside of of uh, the Washington North Carolina game. But Ashley Hatch had a crazy goal. It was a really nice finish from her. And Ali Watt uh, for uh, Ali Watt for Orlando and Marta getting the job done. So the playoffs are about to start here. I think what next this upcoming next Friday for the ladies, and uh, so it's gonna be what Orlando Bay first. I think Orlando need to win the title, but I mean. There's some teams that have something to say. Gotham's going to have something to say. Washington as well. And a lot of teams are going to have something to say uh, in this title, in the playoffs. Best of luck to all the teams. I will be watching. I don't, I don't really have a favorite. I mean, I, I'm not saying I'm rooting for North. I, I would say I'm rooting for Orlando because they're an expansion team. And I really like the fact that, um, you know, it just shows, like, hey, look, you, you can create a club. Uh, and, and Orlando had its highs and lows, but you can create a club and then you ended up attracting a player like Barbara Banda and of course all the Brazilians that are there um, and end up being successful, maybe winning uh, a title. Also, you know, you already won the Shield and you're an expansion club. So I think that's just great, just off rip. But we're going to see if Orlando can uh, you know, pretty much I feel like it was crazy. I was saying in the last, I was saying in the stream, it's like, even though Gotham are the team that are defending champions, it's like Orlando are the team to beat. And I think it is with Gotham, it's like the team that won them the championship is in a way n not the same team. In, it's not the same Gotham anymore. And uh, it's really diff it's difficult, it's different to kind of get behind them in that essence. Like, it's like, oh, you're defending the title, but actually you have totally new players to help you defend it. But I guess that makes sense if you're a champion, but, you know, it is what it is. It's just like, why Gotham? But Orlando probably is the team I don't mind rooting for, even though I said I wasn't going to root for anyone. Um, but, uh, yeah. Manchester City 3, Crystal Palace 0. I gave my MVP to Jess Park with the goal and the assist. and But very one-sided for City um, once again. Um, but I think this match showed they're clicking and they're understanding the system Taylor wants them to play. 
and um, a Crystal Palace was a great opponent to be able to show uh, showcase that. 